Hey, I'm Jimmy Schaefer, owner of Oak Ridge Custom Turkey Calls, and uh, this is my nephew Kyle. How you doing? My name is Kyle Gilroy. I'm an application engineer for Vision Research Amatech. So yesterday we field tested uh, a couple new products. Uh, some Rogue Ammo, which is uh, number nine shot, and uh, a different constriction on a Jeb's choke tube. Uh, I met Jimmy, the owner of Jeb's, several years ago at the MWTF convention in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, I picked up a choke tube from him and uh, was shooting, I believe I was shooting long beard number fives at the time. And uh, his choke tube definitely increased uh, the, my shot. Uh, so this year, uh, with the introduction of this TSS, I wanted to give it a try. So I spoke to him about the choke tube and he said he recommended a, a 660 constriction which is it's what we did uh, we switched to it on his recommendation uh, the gun we used was a Winchester 1300 it's uh, by Turkey Gun for the last uh, three decades and uh, we had a really really good uh, field test yesterday and we captured it all uh, on film and yeah so so what we did to, to look at that, um, to kind of analyze the whole situation, is we used uh, a new sensor technology from Vision Research. This is the Phantom T3610. This camera is capable of basically recording video at 38,000 frames per second at a 1 megapixel resolution. And it has a new, what's called BSI technology, backside illuminated, which allows basically the sensor to be more sensitive to light, right? And that's critical when you're capturing video at very really high frame rates. And uh, the camera can actually do uh, 190 nanosecond exposure times, right? So if you think about it, a, lo a lot of uh, high speed events, they have a lot of motion blur, right? And the really short exposure time mitigates all that motion blur so you can't even see it, all right? So what we did was we set this camera up and we had it focused on the muzzle of the shotgun. All right, and then what we did is we had um, some GS Vitek LED lights. These are designed for high-speed imaging. They're flicker-free, and you get a really beautiful uh, continuous uh, illumination of that event. As we shined it on the muzzle, we had a, a piece of sheetrock uh, as a backdrop, and it allowed us to see all the components of that she uh, shell coming out of the muzzle uh, of the shotgun and it really uh, produced some some great um, high-speed video and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of that high-speed footage and I'm also gonna go through some of the analyses that you can do in the software to do things like speed acceleration uh, all sorts of kinematic analyses uh, with uh, the camera in the software yeah. so here was some of our performance yes from yesterday uh, this is at 20 yards this is our shot pattern and everything was shot to the exact yardage with a laser ray range finder. So this is accurate uh, recording of it. This was 30 yards. This is 40 yards. That's 50. And this was 60. Now, generally, as turkey hunters, our preferred range, we like to get the birds in between 30 and 40 yards. But uh, with this, this new ammo, this rogue ammo, and that Jeb's choke tube, it's nice to know that the capabilities are there if the bird hangs up, say, at 55, 60 yards. You do have a weapon that, that will take them down. And this is an old... 30 year old shotgun that it's I've killed a lot of turkeys with this gun through the years but this setup right now is is the best performance wise that that I've ever uh, ever used so yeah so let's take a look at some uh, high speed footage and, and take a look at how this um, how the shell comes out of the muzzle sounds good let's do it awesome